Welcome to another fascinating journey into the human mind. A realm where thoughts blossom, emotions run rampant, and memories weave intricate patterns. A place where science and wonder intertwine to form the complex tapestry we know as psychology. Today, we delve deep into this captivating labyrinth, exploring the enigmatic corners of our minds to unravel some of the most intriguing psychological discoveries. A phenomenal set of revelations that have not only shaped our understanding of the human psyche, but also have a profound impact on our day-to-day -day lives. The first discovery we'll delve into is the power of anchoring. It's a potent psychological tool that influences our decision-making process in ways we often fail to recognize. Next we will delve into the fallibility of memory, a fascinating revelation that challenges our perception of reality and questions our reliance on our memories. Following that, we'll explore the power of habits, the subconscious routines that shape our lives more than we can imagine. We'll then uncover the mere exposure effect and how familiarity can breed preference, not contempt. Ever felt like you're always in the spotlight? That's the spotlight effect and we'll be shedding light on this psychological phenomenon. Next up, we'll delve into the Pygmalion Effect, a discovery that reveals the incredible power of expectations. We'll also explore the Decoy Effect, an interesting bias in our decision-making process. Emotional Contagion, our next topic, will delve into how emotions can be as infectious as a common cold. And finally, we'll discuss the Bystander Effect, a social psychological phenomenon that may explain why help isn't always forthcoming when we think it should be. Before we unravel these mysteries, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our enlightening content. Get ready as we embark on this riveting journey into the depths of the human mind, a powerful enigma that continues to fascinate and baffle us. Stay tuned! First, dive into the concept of anchoring. Anchoring, in the realm of psychology, is a cognitive bias where an individual depends too heavily on an initial piece of information, known as the anchor, when making decisions. It's like the first impression of the mind, it's powerful and influential. Let's say you're shopping and you see a shirt originally priced at $100, but it's on sale for $50 you're more likely to consider it a bargain because of the initial $100 anchor. The anchor's power extends beyond shopping decisions, permeating our perceptions and judgments in various scenarios. It's been proven in numerous studies that once an anchor is set, other judgments are made by adjusting away from that anchor, and there is a bias toward interpreting other information around the anchor. The human mind can be intriguing and surprising, can't it? Next up, a discovery that might make you question your memory. Have you ever trusted a memory only to find out it was false? It's a common experience and it's all due to the fallibility of memory. You see, our memories aren't the perfect record keepers we often believe them to be. They're more like malleable narratives, constantly being reshaped and rewritten. Imagine your memory as a painter. Each time you recall an event, the painter doesn't simply present a finished artwork. Instead, they revisit the canvas, adding new strokes, blending colors, even changing details. This can be influenced by many factors, such as our current emotions, beliefs, and even suggestions from others. Consider the times you've sworn by a childhood memory, only to have a sibling or parent recall it differently. It's not that one of you is lying, but rather, your memories have been influenced and altered over time. So remember, memories are not always the steadfast truths we think they are. Our next discovery might make you rethink your daily routine. Ever wondered why habits are so hard to break? That's because our brains are hardwired to form and maintain them. Habits are essentially shortcuts for our brains. When we repeatedly do something, our brain starts to automate the process saving energy for other tasks. This automaticity is what makes habits so strong and sticky. Think of it like a well-trodden path through a forest. The more you walk on it, 
the clearer and more established it becomes. That's exactly what happens in our brains with each repetition of a habit. The neural pathway for that habit becomes stronger and more efficient. However, the good news is, just like forging a new path through a forest, we can create new habits by consistently performing new actions. It's not easy, but with persistence, we can change our habits and therefore change our lives. Let's move on to a phenomenon that might explain why some people seem to click instantly. Ever felt more comfortable with someone just because you've seen them more often? This is the mere exposure effect at work, an intriguing psychological phenomenon where familiarity breeds preference. Think about your favorite song, did you love it at first listen, or did it grow on you over time? The mere exposure effect suggests that repeated exposure to a person, place, or thing tends to enhance our overall liking for it. It's a subconscious preference that forms just because we're more familiar with something, making it feel safer, more predictable. This isn't just limited to people or music. It extends to ideas, shapes, and even abstract concepts. So the next time you find yourself warming up to a new tune or falling for that person you see every day on your commute, remember, it may just be the mere exposure effect subtly shaping your preferences. Next, we delve into a discovery that explores our perception of ourselves. Have you ever felt like everyone is noticing your every move? Well, there's a term for that feeling. It's called the spotlight effect. This psychological phenomenon is our tendency to believe that we're being observed and scrutinized more than we actually are. It's as if we're center stage under a spotlight, while everyone else in the room is the audience, attentively watching our every move. Now, why does this happen? Our minds have a natural inclination to believe that our actions, our appearance, and even our thoughts are the center of attention because we're always at the center of our own world. However, it's important to remember that everyone else is also at the center of their own world. So next time you're feeling overly self-conscious, remember? It's just the spotlight effect playing tricks on you. Everyone else is too absorbed in their own spotlight to be constantly watching yours. Our next discovery will help you understand the power of expectations. Ever noticed how your expectations can influence others' performance? Enter the Pygmalion Effect, a psychological phenomenon that reveals the power of our beliefs. Named after the Greek myth of Pygmalion, a sculptor who fell in love with a statue he had carved. This effect explains how high expectations can indeed lead to improved performance in a given area. Here's how it works. When we hold high expectations for someone, we tend to treat them in a manner that encourages them to reach those expectations. This could mean providing more support, giving constructive feedback, or simply believing in their potential. This positive reinforcement can boost the individual's self-confidence, thus enabling them to perform better. Whether it's a teacher's belief in a student's abilities, a coach's confidence in an athlete, or a manager's faith in an employee, the Pygmalion effect is at play in many aspects of our lives. So remember, your expectations might just be the catalyst someone needs to excel. Let's now explore a psychological discovery that might explain some of your shopping habits. Ever found yourself choosing the most expensive option when given three choices? If so, you've likely been influenced by the decoy effect. This psychological phenomenon occurs when we're presented with three options. A cheap option, an expensive option, and a third decoy option that's not as attractive as the expensive option, but pricier than the cheap one. The decoy is strategically priced to make the expensive option seem more desirable. It's like when you're choosing between a small, large, and medium popcorn at the movies. The small seems too small. The large seems too pricey, but the medium, priced just right between the two, seems like the best choice. The decoy effect is a powerful tool used by marketers to nudge us towards spending more. It's a fascinating demonstration of how our choices can be subtly influenced. Up next, a discovery that might help you understand why you feel happy when others do. Ever caught someone else's happiness 
or sadness? Well, you're not alone. This phenomenon is known as emotional contagion, a psychological discovery that explains how we can catch or absorb emotions from those around us. It's like an emotional echo where feelings bounce off from one person to the other. Consider this, when you're around someone who is constantly happy, it's likely that you will start to feel a bit of that joy too. Conversely, being around someone who is persistently sad or anxious can make you feel a similar way. This happens because we humans are social creatures and we subconsciously mimic the emotions of those we interact with. However, it's not just about copying emotions, it's about empathy, understanding and connection. Emotional contagion reminds us of our inherent interconnectedness and the profound impact we have on each other. So remember, next time you're feeling down, try surrounding yourself with positivity. It just might catch on. As we approach the end, let's uncover one last fascinating psychological discovery. Ever wondered why people are less likely to help someone in distress when others are present? This is known as the bystander effect. It's a fascinating psychological phenomenon that occurs when the presence of others discourages an individual from stepping in during an emergency situation. Imagine you're walking down a busy street and someone collapses. Naturally, you'd think with so many people around, someone would rush to their aid, right? Surprisingly, that's not always the case. The bystander effect suggests that the more people present, the less likely any one person is to help. This happens for a couple of reasons. Firstly, there's a diffusion of responsibility. Everyone assumes someone else will step up, so they don't have to. Secondly, people look to others for cues on how to behave. If no one else is reacting, they may assume that intervention isn't needed. Before we wrap up, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Psychology continues to unravel the complexities of our mind, and what a journey we've embarked on today, exploring 10 fascinating psychological discoveries that shed light on the enigma within us. We dove into the depths of anchoring, a cognitive bias that influences our decision-making process. It's interesting how the first piece of information we encounter about something can set the tone for how we perceive the rest. We then navigated the fallibility of memory, a reminder that our recollections are not always as accurate as we might believe. Distortions, fabrications and alterations can all creep into our memories, often without us even realizing. We explored the power of habits, those routine behaviors that are so ingrained in us. They happen almost without thought. They shape our lives in ways we often overlook. Our journey also took us through the mere exposure effect, demonstrating how familiarity breeds preference and the spotlight effect, which underscores our tendency to overestimate how much others notice about us. We unraveled the Pygmalion effect, a powerful testament to how our expectations can shape the behavior of those around us. We also ventured into the decoy effect, an intriguing phenomenon that can skew our preferences when making choices. We touched upon emotional contagion, the spread of feelings from one person to another, like a ripple effect in the sea of human emotions. And finally, we delved into the bystander effect, a social, psychological phenomenon where individuals are less likely to offer help to a victim when others are present. Each of these discoveries offers a glimpse into the labyrinth of our minds, highlighting how our behaviors, perceptions, and interactions are influenced in ways we might not always be aware of. They remind us of the immense power and potential of the human mind, a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be discovered. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the mind. Remember, each day presents a new opportunity to learn and grow. Until next time, Stay curious.